I am joined now by the voice of the Toledo Walleye, Matt Melzack. And Matt, we have a very big game coming up tomorrow. Game 7 in the Central Division semifinals, winner take all. Toledo, of course, coming through on Saturday. They had to have a win to extend their season, and they turned in one of their best performances of the year in that 3 nothing win over Cincinnati. Boy, they sure did, Dorian. You called it. It's 100% their best game in months. I think there's no question about it, not just in this series, but maybe even going back into the regular season. I mean, they dominated in all facets of the game. Uh, the first period was a little bit tighter, but then after that, Cincinnati just couldn't generate anything, could hardly get out of their own zone. Toledo was all over them. I mean, it was as eye-opening a performance as you know Toledo's had in quite some time. They did, they did everything right. Uh, if if Michael Hauser wasn't there, then uh, you know maybe that game's even worse than a three nothing score. But uh, he held him in the game. He gave actually Cincinnati a chance. They had one really good chance early in the third to tie the game. Didn't happen for him. Billy Christopoulos didn't face a lot, but when he was there and called upon, he was great. Uh, 18 saves, but 44 to 18 in the shots. That tells all the story from Game Six. They. They thoroughly dominated the game, and, and if they can do that again tomorrow night, at least come out with that same energy, uh, they're, they're going to be in good shape. Well, you kind of give us a little bit of foreshadowing when you said that had Michael Hauser not been in goal uh, on Saturday, things could have been a little bit worse, and he will not be in goal for Game 7 tomorrow. He has been recalled, but Matt, you cautioned before we started this, that may not be as good as it would look on paper. Why is that? Well, I mean, let's start with the good part of it, though, Dorian. It's a two-part answer for you. The good part is certainly the fact that you're not having to deal with him because, look, he's had over 40 saves each of the last two games. Credit him for that. They probably don't win Game 5 without him, and we're probably already talking about Toledo moving on in the series. The, the caution part is in Game 2, he didn't play. Sean Bonner, their backup, did. He won the game. 3-2 was the final, played very good, especially in that third period. He was on his game. He's a very capable goaltender. Toledo will be ready for that. Dan Watson and company, they'll make sure the players are all reminded of the fact that they lost game two to Sean Bonner after Toledo scored nine seconds into that game and could not uh, you know, finish the deal. So uh, you know, that's one of the things that you gotta just keep an eye on. You don't wanna get him comfortable. That first period is gonna be so important coming up tomorrow night if Toledo can jump on him. And they have some reinforcements coming in as well, Dorian. So it's gonna be an interesting uh, game seven for sure. You mentioned those reinforcements, Toledo getting back Josh Dickinson and Butra Scafari. What is the importance of getting those guys back at this stage and in what has really been a physical and demanding series? Well, it does give you the fresh bodies. There's no question about that. But both of those guys have been playing in the American Hockey League, and they played this weekend uh, for Grand Rapids. And uh, what it does, though, it gives you a very physical defenseman in Butra Scafari to go back there defensively along with Cole Frazier. And then Josh Dickinson gives you another center. Gives you a high-scoring, high-powered forward to go into that lineup. Let's face it, if he was here all year, he's probably at the top of the league in scoring. That's how good he is. Well, certainly an exciting one-two scoring punch between Dickinson and Brandon Hawkins. You heard him standing room only inside the bank tank tomorrow night. If you don't have a ticket, don't worry. You can watch the game live right here on BCSN.